hey, it looks like we all recovered from the last Conley's Corner episode, so we're back for yet another one. Yeah, that was a, that was a long court date. <laughs> I, I didn't think it would last as long as it did. You know, it, it's going to be the trial of the century, perhaps. Well, I just thought the internet, we were free to say more things, but apparently not. <laughs> I'm Crackwise Magazine Editor-in-Chief Kathy Vogel, and in the corner in which we sit, it belongs to comedian Mr. Mike Conley. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world today. I'm doing a polite round clap. You deserve it. It's like a standing ovation, but I can't stand up right now. Because well, no, we we're on set. We're yeah. on set. we got things to do. Right. Well, we are here, as always, to help you digest information that you're coming across on the internet with our valued esteemed research exactly so we hope you're appreciative of that and now we turn to relationships people i think really desire to have a lasting relationship well yeah. we are here to give you some tips on how you can make that happen communicate better is one way just talk to each other argue oh, if you have to in yeah. person not over text just talk to each other that's really going to help another thing don't be boring laugh with each other, compliment each other, leave notes for each other, share experiences with one another, reminisce about them too. Just do fun stuff. Who doesn't want to do fun stuff together? Whatever that fun stuff is. Support each other is another way to build a lasting relationship. Be proud of each other's achievements. Make sure to relive those accomplishments together because then you'll feel good all over again. Is that like role playing? Calm down, Oh, calm down. And speaking of, Make sure you have a happy fun time. Oh yeah, at least once a week because it increases your relationship happiness. Good Lord, I am, I, I, <laughs> well, I've got some time to make up. <laughs> well, Conley is here and perhaps we need to inform you also of things that could end your relationship. This is where I step in, because <laughs> that's what I do. End relationships or step up? End relationships. Okay. Uh, first of all, she mentioned happy fun time. Yes. It's important. Do not call out the wrong person's name during oh. happy fun time, particularly if it's your grandma's name. Oh, what? why? But in the middle of the throat, oh, Mumo, I don't want to go to bed. Don't yell <laughs> that out. That is going to kill the moment and every moment for the next six months. Ever yell that out. Okay. Second point would be random nudity. What? Well, you know, and boy, if I had a nickel for every relationship this crashed <laughs> into a wall. Random nudity. Women, she talked about being spontaneous. Women sure. love spontaneity. Is that the right spontaneity? word? Spontaneity? Spontaneity. <laughs> but, you know, there's a difference between being spontaneous with random nudity and showing up at her luncheon for her employee of the month award and jumping out of her cake naked. Oh. That, oh. Um, that that's that should be done. No. No, that that's shocking. The third thing, gentlemen, you need to know is uh, not to do yes. uh, to make your relationship last uh -huh. is for the love of God, don't use logic. <laughs> what? Because she's gonna in, as she's leading you into an argument because it's gonna be your fault anyway. <laughs> Even though you have this lock solid Perry Mason gonna win every time idea, because you have logic in your corner. Right. No, oh. it's not gonna work. You're not gonna get out of it. You're sleeping in the garage if she lets you in there. Wow. And finally. Wow, Conley. Most important. Okay. To make a relationship work, shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. Yes, you have ideas. Yes, you have things to say. But you know what? They don't apply here. Just shut up. <sighs> Do you feel better? Not really. Because I was hoping that was like a way for you to let out well, some things you, you know, needed to say to maybe some other people. I did. You know, but <laughs> they ignore me in real life. They're going to ignore me here, so they're not listening. That was quite insightful, Mr. Conley. I'm happy to help. Okay, so let's all have the drink recipe of the week there uh, underneath the video. And also, you could find out where you could go buy Conley a drink at his next live performance because I think he needs one. And I promise I, I won't logically talk to you. And he won't drop his pants. No, right? no, no promises there. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, thanks.